Hi, I'm Jean. And I'm Sarah. I'm Goodman, she's Strobel, and together we, we create. create. We're here to spread a cup of kindness your way and wish you all a happy holiday and hope you had a good week because we sure did. Yeah, we did. We're coming at you from the other side of the table today. Yeah, <laughs> we like to try a little different angle. Coming at you in the evening. Yeah. Greg yeah. was watching watching games all day, so we thought, oh, we'll do it in the evening, then we can show you the Christmas tree. Yeah. We've got three of them up. This is one of them behind us. Yeah. It's such a nice time of year. It's so pretty. It is. Yeah. Yeah, and just talk to relatives back back home. and In Minnesota, where it's very cold. Very cold. Here very at uh, 56 degrees, we're wearing sweatshirts and, <laughs> and mittens, and they're like running around in shorts, but yeah. uh, it's pretty cold there right now. Yeah, it is to them. We um we had a good week. We did. We went to a steakhouse last night. Woo! That was pretty good. good. We yeah. went to Shula's. That's on um, Disney property at the um, the Dolphin. I think it's the Dolphin Hotel. Swan yeah. and Dolphin Hotel. That Very was a nice. fun little treat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You get steak there. I mean, it's huge. You can't begin to eat it all. You have to be. Like, <laughs> oh, at least you have a good meal. Yeah, that's right. Coming home, coming for the next day. So that was really fun. That was nice. We hadn't been to Shula's in a number of years. Uh, I think like seven. Yeah, so it's been a while. Yeah. So we really enjoyed it. Well, I got some finishes. I showed you this one that I was going to send home to my aunt and uncle. That's who we just talked to yeah. actually this evening. That looks just like their house. And then I did one more that I wanted to go with that one. And this is the one that I put together and I added the second horse. There was a man here and a tree here, another tree there and a little chicken on top of the horse, but I simplified it, added another horse, put a little snow mound on the bottom, added the bird and- uh, You also added into the trees because there were gaps in the trees. That's right, there were gaps into the trees. I filled them in and then I did the, the, the cording on the edges and uh, what do we have? Just some batting underneath the cross stitch, some sticky board, and the ever famous Super California King back <laughs> of a bed <laughs> yes. So these are getting shipped out to Minnesota uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna package them, package them up tonight, and those are on their way. They're gonna enjoy those. This is right up their alley. So this was fun. We just this one finished up pretty quick. I love it. Just love it. And the little blanket or the saddle on the horse. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, and I love the little cardinal you put down here. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I've got just a tiny bit more done on this one from, is it Cherry Hill Stitchery? And Mom did a tutorial this week. Yes. Well, um, uh, we filmed it. And we will put that up later in the week for you. And why don't you show them what you made? A couple of weeks ago, I wrapped a present because I was telling you that we were in, I think it was Hobby Lobby, and everybody was buying all these presents to put under their tree. And we have wrapped our own presents in cloth and brown paper sacks for years, and they just never, they never get, you, you know, wrapped. And so this one, I used the famous... California King Park Design back of the bowl <laughs> bedspread. And because this goes under Sarah's tree and it matches her primitive. And this poinsettia, we I just we found as we were walking through either Joanne's or Hobby Lobby, and it was meant to be because it was laid back on an area that we don't even go to. Saw it, we picked that up. And these are just some bells that we had gotten actually quite a few years ago. And these we've had for quite a while. They're just little white beads. And so I did do a tutorial on it, but it's just a little bit of hot glue right there. Wrap your ribbon. And then I like to take the ribbon over top of everything. That way I feel everything secured in. But that's our package. Yeah, and I love it. It, it goes with everything around here. It just looks so pretty under the tree. It we, does look pretty yeah, under the tree. Yeah, we've got a I bunch under there. We grabbed yeah. this one out and thought we'd show you. We'll mm -hmm. put up that tutorial. Um, on the tutorial, we didn't show how we wrap the box because we did that in the first one. Um, so we're showing how we um, kind of collaborate and come together yeah. and make this happen. And unwrapping it, you do it just like you wrap a present. It doesn't matter if it's material or, or um, paper. 
just do it the same way and it comes out perfect. What else did we do? We, um, oh gosh, we got, <laughs> oh God, we got all of our Christmas cards oh out. My God, in that, the mail, Christmas cards yeah, are done. That is mail, like so. a huge, Test. All of you Christmas turtles, get going. <laughs> and, you. Yeah, and I don't print out the addresses on the computer. I like to handwrite every address out. So every address is handwritten so, and with a little personal note in each one. Well, yeah, and <laughs> our system is she does the cards. I do seal the envelope, put the stamps on and... And when I put the first batch in the mail, I thought, oh, I'll be nice and I'll pick up some more Christmas stamps. Well, I tell you, all I heard was we didn't need any more Christmas stamps. Well, I knew we needed Christmas stamps because I've done this a lot longer than she had. And so I'm not kidding you, she wouldn't let up on it. We didn't need those Christmas stamps. So we're doing our last run of Christmas cards and all of a sudden we're into the new Christmas stamps. <laughs> yes, and we were. <laughs> she, she tried to keep it real low, you know, like, well, we could have used another one. Well, when we got done, we used all those 20 stamps, plus a real pretty moon landing stamp that I thought for sure we could maybe keep one or two, but they're all gone too. <laughs> and then, like I say, we each have our routine. And the next morning, I come out into the living dining room. And there Sarah is finishing two more cards that she forgot about. And I look at her and, you know, she's got the stamp on everything. And I look at her and she's licking the envelope, putting it down. And she's the envelope, put it down. I didn't say nothing. A couple of five minutes later, God, these envelopes won't stick. So there she is. I watched this and oh, I no. kind of smiled and all of a sudden I said, you know, Sarah, just pull the sticky paper <laughs> off the back. <laughs> She's like, you pull them. <laughs> oh, wow. We got some high class cars here. <laughs> we so, really went all out this year. <laughs> <laughs> no licking our stamps. Or our um, envelopes. Envelopes, yeah. So uh, uh, that took me... <laughs> Probably two days to get over the laughter on that, you know, because, uh, uh, mm. and she who hates looking envelopes. Oh, well, it had to get done. <laughs> it had to be done. So anyway, we survived that little crisis yeah, and cards in the mail, and uh, so I don't know um, who got the two she thought did a lick on. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be sanitized by the time they get to their home. <laughs> Ah, so anyway, I don't know what she's going to do when I'm not here anymore and I'm gone. <laughs> She'll be licking him loads. If you don't get your cards, call. Oh, gosh. So yes. anyway, that was our, our fun little thing. And then, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. We're doing this floss too tonight. Because <laughs> we have a routine. We get up early on Sunday and we do the floss too. So it's not interfering with games, races, all this. My husband likes sports. And we don't. I get up and I come out. And I, you know, don't get me wrong. I wasn't ready, camera ready yet. I was all ready. Yeah. I was ready. And I thought, 7 a.m. I'm yeah, ready. 7 a.m. All of a sudden she says, well, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They went to Hollywood Studios to get on their famous ride they wanted. So that's why we're a little late. And then... Well, and then we went to Hollywood, and then we were back by 10.30. You know, we left at 8. Yeah, you were. We were back by 10.30. Yeah, you were. So, and then the games had started. So, we thought we better wait till all the games were done. Well, and then the other thing is she got a new project. Oh, th yeah, I stayed really busy with that today. And she, who's on the go all the time... She was in that chair all day long. Oh She's my got God. Stitching away. Sitting on my butt too long. <laughs> oh my God. But it was so fun. Are, are oh you going to show them what you got? I'm sure. so excited. Okay. So I mentioned those Busilla Christmas stockings. And then I showed you the one that my uh, good friend Cora had made for me. And so I found some Busilla Christmas stockings online. And I ordered this one. This one I'm gonna make for the dogs. They can share a stocking. And although mom thinks they each need their own stocking, no, well, they can just share. It's fine. They'll be fine. And then what else did we get? So I got three of them. And then I got one for Greg, because he likes sports. 
So I got him a sports one and it looks really complicated. <laughs> I'm like, how on earth am I gonna get all of that in? Okay, well, yeah, look at everything over here too. Um, so there's that. And then when you get the instructions, honest to gosh, you need a magnifying glass and you need a highlighter. These are the instructions, I'm not kidding you. And then here's like a guide and all the codes and the stitching and the colors and how many strands of thread you use. And then these are the step-by-step -step guides. Like every bullet is, that's a job to do. <laughs> I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, okay. She's got a lot so, of jobs to do. And then you get this nice little design chart, which really is kind of helpful. And you know, and everything's numerically numbered. So you start with number one. I looked and looked to couldn't find number one. And I realized, <laughs> oh, it's the stocking. And then you go to number two and you go to number three. And it's just all laid out really nicely once I know how to do it. But... They, um, it comes with the, the thread and the beads and, and the, the sequence, and but, the and if you look, I mean, all, every little piece is numbered. You cut it out and then like, there's the dotted line. You look at your grid. Okay. On the dotted line, you do a certain kind of stitch. Are you okay over there? Okay. <laughs> and, um. It's been one of those things. Oh <laughs> gosh! I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh! There's. I, we didn't know there were so many sports. I am not a sports person, <laughs> but here we go. But what so, we're kind of laughing about is I was going <laughs> to take these and I was going to be nice and cut these all out for her. You know, she's going to cut them all out. Well, you see, um, she wanted to peek as you fit up. She exaggerates. You see, she exaggerates. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have cut all these out, the numbers would be gone. Would be gone because they're like, on the outside. Like if you cut them it. out, I will have no idea what number it is because <laughs> you know they're on the outside. They're on the inside. They're everywhere. But anyway, yeah, so, so I didn't. You cut get them out. you get everything you need. Yeah, this goes, so this I did. I decided to start with the one that mom wanted, which looked to For be me. like, yeah, she wanted a new stocking. And she thinks that... I just wanted a stocking. <laughs> wanted a st yeah, you're right. You don't have a stocking. Have a stocking. And I'm the one that's good all year. <laughs> yeah, she thought she's been good all year, so I should be able to get this done. This is the one mom wanted. It is. So it, it really is pretty. It's a snowman one. And I thought, I'm going to start with that one because it really did look the simplest. Um, so once again, you get those awesome charts, but, um, and then here's like the, the beads and the sequence and everything you need. It's just so cool. But this is what I started. This is just, okay. So you can tell I've already taken some cuts out of my uh, fabric <laughs> numbers one, two, three, and four, but take a look at this. First, I started with putting on the little the little snowflakes and the, where's the other one? There's more and the little sequence. But then look at this, the cuff. Oh my gosh, the cuff. We cut out the cuff and then I did the embroidery. I did all of the light blue embroidery. And then when that was done, I went ahead and did all the white sequence pieces. And there's a little bead in the middle. I can't really see of each sequence. And then when the white was done, I did the blue. And then you applique that on on the back not very neat but there it is and then uh and then you did then we put this piece on we cut that out and then one by one you put these sequences on with the beads and when you look at it you go oh my gosh that's a lot of one by one pieces of sequence but it went so fast it went so easy the hardest part i feel for you because is threading that needle they give me Mm -hmm. They give you this tiny, tiny, tiny needle that these beads fit over. And it is hard to get that thread in and there. And if she'd been more oh careful and not broke my famous threader, <laughs> life would be easy. But... Yeah, it would be. I need to invest in a good needle threader. I don't know what, if you guys know of a good needle threader, let me know. Because I don't have trouble threading needles. But this one, boy, this is... I feel for you. I yeah. know what's yeah. yeah. When you got the real yeah, that is just tiny. You try to get two, but so there it is. Them. And then now the next piece I'm working on is piece number four, which is uh, you know, and we love puzzles, and this reminds me of a puzzle, mm -hmm. and that's I think why I'm loving it. And then you know, as you saw on the stocking, you just piece it in there. Like this piece is going to go right here, 
This is gonna become a tree and then there's a piece that overlaps right up here and then part of the snowman overlaps there. I started the uh, embroidery on the tree and then every little dot is where you put your sequence whenever there's a dot. And then you look on the chart and it tells you which color sequence to put in there and which color thread to use. And I've got the system now. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, it might be ambitious of me to say I want this done next week. <laughs> but who knows? I don't know. I'm going to be a little nice busy. It's done by Christmas. Yeah, hopefully. I'm going to be a little busy this week teaching. i got some extra things going on, but I'm going to do my best to make that happen. So cross-stitching is going to just least kind you, of get, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there, but I'm going to focus on the stocking. At least you don't have any recitals <laughs> because of <laughs> There's no recitals. <laughs> oh, that was mean. <laughs> No recitals because of COVID. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, no, that's sad, but give you more time to work on the stocking. That's true. Yeah. We got a catalog too. This really cool catalog came from Mary Stockings. And this has got all seasonal Christmas trees, Easter things, ornaments, wall hangings. Beautiful tree skirts. I mean, absolutely I mean, beautiful. This garland kit. I mean, this, yeah. there's just so many cute things in here. And it just goes on and on. Look at the little uh, door hanger. It is just so sweet. There's even a pillow. It, there's, there's things I never even knew you could make in here. And then like so many Christmas stockings. And see, a lot of the these kits were sold out. I guess they come out early in the summer. And when they're gone, they're gone. But so I kind of got what was left in the, in well, the bucket. And like but, I was telling, telling you... It has to be a fabulous company. Did you forget my name? <laughs> well, I thought yeah. telling us <laughs> well, you <laughs> Sarah, that it has to be a good reptile company because Sarah got that stocking from Cora when she was very little, and the company is still around selling. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. know if she got it from this company, but it oh, is sure concept. She did. Is, yeah. yeah, and there's Christmas ornaments you can make, and the wall hangings are just amazing. And then, like I say, there's seasonal stuff. It's just yeah, cool. Yeah, it is nice. This is a really fun find. So um, thank you to the viewer who shared this Yeah, the name of information. it. Information. That was, not I know. absolutely love it. I'm loving that stocking. And I love my cross-stitching, too. So I want to fit that in. Um, and we'll just see what we can do. We did buy one more thing new. What did we buy? It's over there. We now have a sharp scissor. That works. Oh, yeah. And we bought a pair of scissors. <laughs> I thought I needed a, a nice little pair to do all of my cutting for the, the uh, what do they you call were, it, the stocking. I even used them. I don't know what was wrong with that other pair of scissors. I don't know. Probably because I paid two bucks for them. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, you didn't. <laughs> you oh, paid more than that. <laughs> I paid a good amount for those yes, scissors. Yes, you did. <laughs> but it's been a great week. A really nice week. Um, oh, yes. I was going to say it was 56 degrees and I got to wear that infinity scarf. That's right. Yeah. We went to an outdoor concert, Christmas concert. And um, yeah, I put that infinity scarf on that you made and it was perfect. Good. It's all you needed in that, you know, that light 56 degree weather. It well, was nice. They're getting so out of the box thinking here because... You know, this is a concert area. I mean, there's entertainers like crazy. And so the town of Celebration has these concerts all the time. And so what they did is they had this big open field and they put a stage out there. And then they set up tables at about how far, they're a huge amount apart. And only your family can sit there. You know, you can't intermingle with friends or yeah, anything. Yeah, they put these big circles on the field. And then they put a table in the middle of the circle with six chairs. Yeah. So six of you can get in that circle. And if there's yeah. more than six, you got to get in the next circle, yeah. um, which so, is like way far away. I'm, I don't know the exact feet, but it's well over six feet. Yeah. They spread it out so a it's, lot. So it's nice when they come up with the ideas on how you can do something that Make you're it used happen. to doing. Yeah. 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 We're anxious to see because they have ice skating in town. Now. I don't know if they're going to do that or That's not. That's up. It is up. Yeah, so I don't know how they're going to keep people like distance, but mm -hmm. it's up. I suppose I bet they'll do reservations. Oh, that's so many on the rink at a time. Yeah, reservations. And let's see, anything <laughs> else? <laughs> it's it's kind of late at night. I'm holding in a yawn. I'm <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> um, it's been it's been fun. Um, we um, what did we do? We went to the sharing tree tonight. 
We, we did. picked up some some little tags for some families, and so we're gonna go do some of that shopping mm -hmm. and uh, get that all prepared and sent off to the kids. We like to find families to take care of and help out. Yeah, yeah, we really do. It's something we do enjoy. Yeah, and um, you know, everyone just has to remember that. We're all in this together. Some of us are a little more fortunate than others, but we're all in the same storm. So let's help everybody out here if we can. Yep. Well, another little act of kindness. This week I was taking my garbage oh my out. Gosh. We take the garbage out to the end of the corner down here. It's about like like, like a half a block or something. And um, as I stepped out my door, I saw the garbage truck coming. I thought, oh boy, I'm just going to miss him. And as he rounded the corner, the garbage the man on the garbage truck jumped off his truck, came running down the sidewalk and grabbed my garbage and said, have a nice day. So that was really that was nice. nice. And I had like, like this big bag of garbage and some extra stuff that I was getting rid of, boxes and stuff. And mm -hmm. he just took it all right it was, from me. And it's nice. yeah, it's just little acts like that that make you go and you want to pass it on. It that was just really little, nice. It's the little things. It's not the big yeah. ones. It's the little yeah. ones. That, and that was nice. Yeah. So if there's some little act you can do, Let's try it this week. We Sounds like it. a good plan. It is a good plan. Yep, even if it's calling someone you haven't talked to in a long time. Yeah. That's always fun, too. Nice surprise. Make someone's day. Mm -hmm. And it does make someone's day. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yep. That they know that you're thinking about it. That's right. Yeah. Well, do we have anything else? I've got a full table with these stockings, so I'm, no, I'm good. I don't think I've missed anything. And I'll try to keep her on track so I'm not without a stocking another year. Oh, gosh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm yawning. Yes, no, you will not go without a stocking another year. That is so sad. <laughs> Very sad. It's so sad that she's yawning at, what, 8 o'clock. <laughs> I've been up then. since 4 o'clock. I was have. up at 4 o'clock this morning. I'm an early bird, and I'm usually up at 5 in the morning. But this morning I was up at four and I was out of bed at 4.30 and I'm like, I just couldn't get back to sleep. So I was then, up and in the shower and we scored tickets to Hollywood. So we went there and, but I did do a lot of stitching. And thank God we got hungry because she sat in that chair after she got home until it was time to run to Panera to try their flatbread. <laughs> Which by the way, is very good. If you have a Panera. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. I thought it was dang good. I just had cheese on mine, so you can't go wrong with that, you know. Yeah, but it was good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> better, better than cooking today, are we? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are going on. They're in the I'm like, hey, you. Yeah. So, anyway, we will have more things finished next week. If you have any questions, please ask us. Um, we love trying to find out answers and, like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we know the answers and these stockings have just brought much laughter to this, this house. When we first got those stockings and I saw all of this paperwork and this fine print, I mean, you have to read all of this. I mean, literally you have to read and it's English. It's not like French and German and it's all English and you have to like go through it all. <laughs> but it's good. I've got it under control. I feel well prepared with it because I do go through and read it. <laughs> she does. Yeah. yeah. Whereas mom, she just watches and learns. Yeah. <laughs> they wrote those directions for people like her. <laughs> yeah. oh. So I think that's it for the day unless you have something more. Oh, no. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I'm ready for another cup of coffee. A little kindness your way. Um, have a good week and thank yes. you so much for joining us and uh, however that goes, subscribe, tell your friends, watch, whatever, because you know, <laughs> I heard this story that if you get 25,000 <laughs> viewers, it's a story, I don't know if it's true, that you do send your cake to <laughs> you. And you want I, a cake on YouTube. Cake. So, come on. If you each have what? What do we have? 60-some. 60-some. So, if each of you have um 25 friends. That will no, more, more like 2,500 friends. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
It just takes 2500 from each of you, and she can get her cake from YouTube. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, how many people can say, I mean, a thousand We've got and hundreds of people. Pick up the pace. Yeah. We've got to pick up the pace, people. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to sing and dance next week. Oh, yeah, you just go for it. <laughs> okay. Here's a cup of kindness your way, and you have a great week. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Thank you.